Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Bash scripting for beginners and in today's video we are going to talk about debugging. As you can see on my screen, we are going to talk about what is debugging, we are going to talk about how to debug, we are going to edit a few things in a terminal, we will talk about the debugging options, what do we have in Linux and then we will talk about the debug method. So before moving further in this video, I would like to request that if you have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So without further ado, let us understand what debugging is. So in computer programming, according to Wikipedia, in computer programming and software development, debugging is a process of finding and resolving bugs. Basically, what, what exactly is a bug? Defect or problems that prevent correct operation. It is within computer programs, softwares, or any kind of systems. So what we will be, we will be doing today is editing in terminal. We will use the VI editor or Vim editor. There are a lot of editors like Nano and and there are multiple editors but we are going to use VI editor we are going to talk about the debugging option the first one would be shebang hyphen x or uh, then we will talk about shebang hyphen v and then hyphen x we can use them together as well we can use them separately as well so we are going to talk about hyphen x which is x trace or execution trace we will talk about hyphen v which is verbose hyphen u which is unset hyphen n which is no exec and then we'll talk about the debug function finally how it is written and how do we use it so let's dive right into the demo part so for demo we already have a visual studio open over here as you can see on my screen so let's talk about the first program this is the x so let me just open a terminal over here it's over here so let me put this on the right side Move panel right perfect so let us run it what we'll do is we'll just take the present work directory bash scripting cd 11 tab debugging ls and then sh01 by the way 01 hit tab you can execute us in another ways as well but if you going to check ltr you can see this does not have an executionable permission so otherwise you would have executed by like this as well you have to type the name over here and then you can execute it but right now it's not happening okay i'll just clear this now let us run this sh01 hit tab so what is going to add? happen over here so what we are doing is clearing things over here okay and uh, debug I have to remove this I do not need this okay so I put clear over here is as soon as it's going to run it's going to show me something okay and show me something in the sense that it's going to clear whatever there is present over here so in order to write clear over here I it, it's kind of avoidable if you write clear over here because it's going to clear everything on the screen before even starting the program what I'm doing over here is I'm doing the debugging mode on for the specific part only the specific part spelling is wrong which is this specific part so set hyphen x and set plus x so this is minus x or hyphen x or dash x you can call anything and within this set command we are executing something so what it is going to happen it will run a for loop i in asterisk in the current directory do start from do ends with done and it will print the name of file with one step at at a time so there are multiple files over here you can say test file or test file 1 test file 2 test dot java unset debug function multiple files it's going to run against that so let us run it and you can see it has run so it is going to talk about everything so 01 x file is like post 6 shell script square text executable for the first part okay for the second part it's going to talk about again the same thing shell script square text executable for the third born against shell script sky tech text executable for the fourth one positive check born against shell script sky value something like that and then for the fifth debug function on born against shell function again unset for unset test file it's just an sky test uh, i think uh, sky full form is american standard code for information interchange if i remember it correctly and it'll tell about the test file too which is empty right now it's also a text file and then it will give the name of all files because i have used ls over here so this is one another way of debugging any information in the specific part you can use this x-rays okay now use using the same x-rays we are going to use for loop so same if you have paid attention in the loops part i have explained about a for loop so what i'm going to do over here i'm going to give a number 10 i'm going to run things against this number and let's see what happens okay 
so i don't think we need number 10 over here so if i even remove it it won't even matter let me just remove this i'll run this file 0 sh 0 2 hit tab enter and you can see it has cleared everything because i've used a clear over here i didn't have to type the clear set hyphen x okay now this in a for loop it starts from here the set plus x ends over here for loop i value is 1 will go till less than equal to 4 i plus plus welcome i times and for every time it will print every step this is again exactly the same thing it's just it is used in a loop so you can debug like what exactly is happening in the steps this is the three time this is the four time this is going to print every line that it is going to execute and that's how it works guys okay let's move to the positive ex positive check example this is hyphen v verbose so there is one another way of running it you can just run it like this or you can run it like this you can use any of the one thing i'm running, running it like this what exactly is happening we are reading taking an input enter the value we're going to take the value and then we are going to check whether this condition is fulfilled or not the value is greater than base value base value is zero if yes then positive otherwise negative so let me run this so i have not used clear over here so i have to clear it manually so I'll do 0, 3 over here, enter. So I'll enter the number hyphen 1, which is minus 1. It is saying not positive. So this is not positive. Okay. I'll run it again. I'll give the 8 value. It is saying positive. So this is a very basic program of running it. But if I run it this way. So let's see how this works. Okay. Paste. And you can see it has given the debugging value what it is doing user density tty only read alias functions sh file name no search directory or file okay sorry my bad the file name has to be different so let me just do it my file name has to be 03 hit tab perfect so what I ha it has done it it has taken care of every step let me let me just close this program clear it so that you don't get confused run it again everything it has done and then from there it has taken the hyphen v which is this or you can execute sh hyphen v which is this this has printed but for the program it has printed this this is verbose entering the number i will enter 12 enter and you can say it has printed the whole program which it has executed and after that it has given an answer which is positive so this is how verbose works guys okay Again, the same thing which is going to happen in the n. So we'll do the file name for n. Uh, we have used clear over it, so we do not need to clear. I'll go 04, hit tab, sorry, sh04, tab, enter. So what it is going to do is, it is exactly the same program. The only difference is it is using n over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, it will validate the script syntactically. Okay, now if I give the number over here 12, it is giving positive okay so nothing is happening over here but what i'll do is i'll run it through this way i'll copy this i'll test it using this terminal has no selection to copy paste enter and you can see it has not given any value why it has not given any value because my program is syntactically correct now what I'll do is I'll just delete this F from here, if from here, and let's see what happens. I'll just save it, run it again, and you can see it has said displayed a message syntax error near unexpected token then over here. So there is some problem over here because I'm using then without if. So that's how it works, guys. So hyphen n will validate your script syntactically, and that's how it works, guys. So this is one another way to debug your program, whether it is perfectly right or not. Okay, so I hope you guys have understood this part. <clears throat> okay, so what we'll do, we'll move to debug function. So this is very interesting guys, debug function. In that, in that debug function, what we'll do is, we have one underscore debug on. We'll create our own function, function debug. What we'll do is, we'll take two conditions over here. If the value of debug equal to equal to on and the dollar sign, trade so this both condition has to be fulfilled what we'll do is we'll debug it start from debug we'll echo reading files 
will run a for loop starts from do ends with done will grep grep is for using something and then dev or null and then this is a file that we are using over here in this debug set hyphen x and then we are going to run this so a equal to 2 b equal to 3 c what we are doing we are adding the sum of it okay debug set hyphen x and let's just run it how it works so if i am doing on over here it's going to run it from my using my debug function so what i'll do is i'll do sh over here i'll do 0 5 hit tab enter and you can see it is going through each and every line because my debugging is on so it is saying that a value is 2 b value is 3 c value is 5 debug is set plus x and then these are on equal to on this is fulfilled set plus x which is ended 2 plus 3 equal to 5 and it has given you the result which is 2 plus 3 equal to 5 and that's how it works guys so that that's what we have e code over here so that's how it works now if i make it off let's see what happens if i make it off run it again you can see this, this will just give this this risk this much of result it, it it won't go anything because the debugging is off so you can write your own debugging function you can just copy this and paste it over here and then you can write your own program okay let me just clear this moving back this has to be on control s let's move to the last program of today which is unset so in unset program what we are going to do is we are going to this is the same thing we are going to clear it what is the value over here 50 the value 2 is 20 what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this value value 1 value 3 but we have not defined value 3 so that's what unset does it checks your program whether there is a value which is already defined or not and then your answer comes back so let me do this sh 06 tab enter the answer is 50 the answer should not be 50 the answer should be 30 why because this 3 is not correct so what we'll do we'll copy this and check the unset values so let me just copy this part and present paste it over here let me enter the number 12 okay oh i think i wrote the wrong program this is user 6 so what i have to do is such hyphen u06 dot u and then the answer should be unset i think this is correct okay perfect let me just copy this again paste it over here enter and you can see unbound variable is the problem at line number seven line number seven is this unbound variable means this value three is unbound which is wrong over here so if i do something like two over here it is going to present me with the correct thing so let's just run it again sorry about that yeah it has given the answer is 30 because 50 minus 20 is 30 and that's how it works so there is one other way of running it you can run it through the terminal part you can see copy go to the activities go to your terminal and then just check where are you exactly you are in this okay so let's do let's go to the desktop We'll, we'll go to the little ls over here we'll go to bash scripting inside that we have a folder bs enter perfect ls you can see there are folders over here and then if i want to go inside 0 1 1 tab debugging ls perfect now you can run it over here as well you can put it enter and you can see same thing is happening so either you go do it from here you, you do it from the terminal same thing now let's talk about the vi editor so you have to reach out to the terminal let me clear this type vi and pick the name of any file so what file we'll pick we'll pick this um let's say test1.java okay let's say test.java okay so this is very basic thing over here what i'll do over here is i'll just open this file test.java enter and you can see exactly the same thing over here, over has come over here now pay attention i am trying to press i over here right now and this thing will change and you can see as soon as i pr printed i, I sorry typed i it has given insert now i can type something so for this you can just go and type something hello world okay and you can see in this vi editor my classification is looking really nice it has some colorful things over here 
which is kind of different from here. So this you can do through system RC file. Okay. So in order to save it, when you once you are done, you have to press shift and then colon. Sorry. First you have to print uh, type esec, esec key. And as soon as you type esec key, you can see there is nothing over here. Now you have to type shift colon. And as soon as you can type C uh, shift colon, you can see the colon over here. Type W, Q for quit and then exclamation mark and you can just enter and it will go outside and you can see the value has been changed over here. This is how it works guys. Now, even if you want to see it, you can do cat test dot java and you can see the things has changed over here and that's how it works guys. so you can use vi editor or vim editor there are multiple available like nano editor and something else there are multiple available and that's how you understand how it works so i hope you guys have understood this thing uh, the debugging part it's it's kind of very important because a lot of people ask questions on debugging they, they might ask you a program what what are the inbuilt function what is mine hyphen x v verbose n and then unset for you these he's going to ask you he or she is going to ask you and you have to be ready with that he might ask you what is vi editor how do we use it this is a very basic concept that you need to learn about it okay so if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video